sister's just signing the wall. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Today was incredible, you guys. Is the footage? Y'all aren't ready for it. Like, girl. Oh, hi. Sister James is Jeffrey Star. Damn. All right, you guys, me and James just got back to my house. I have a video going up. James has a video going up at noon. It's an upload day, bitch. So give me, like, 20 minutes, maybe 10 minutes, and this shit will be live. Also, if you're not ready for today's video, just sit down on your couch before you put play. All right, let's get this video started. Full face of brands that hate me. Literally don't need to say anything else. Grab a Red Bull and buckle up. All right, you can swipe up directly right here on Snapchat. Today's video gets really deep, all sarcasm aside. There is a lot of info in here, so grab a snack and uh, let me know what you guys think. Okay, hi, everybody. Um, I am about to lay down because me and Sister James literally got about two hours of sleep last night. And then we drove about two and a half hours all the way to beautiful Santa Barbara, California, where we shot our get ready in a hot air balloon. You know, we're, we're, we're trying to take content to the next level. We're trying to push things and inspire and do things that are outlandish. Um, <laughs> the video footage is so good. Um, and I have the best time with James. We always have such a good time together. The conversations are always amazing. Um, so I can't wait for you guys to see that footage. Besides that, we're exhausted. We, um, we need some sleep, girl. I know if you guys have been following me for a while, you know I have a fear of heights. Don't care about airplanes. Been on those a million times. But the helicopter rides, this hot air balloon, I'm like, testing me um but it was something i really wanted to do for a while and i was so happy that james um wanted to do it with me because not everyone wants to um, do their makeup in the sky with full direct sunlight what pores honey um but it was really fun i well you'll see the footage but um bitch i was a little scared no tea um besides that you guys know i upload a brand new video today if you haven't seen it go on to my channel it is a full face of brands that hate me now i mentioned a lot of stuff in today's video i understand that um so anyone that is watching it currently or is going to watch it later just thank you for listening to my thoughts my opinions um and just a lot of the stuff that i've been through uh i just went in on twitter a little bit said some funny shit some car <laughs> some car some sarcastic jokes and um you know people always like to chime in and say what they want to say but i guess until you're really like living someone's friendship with someone or you're living through the pain, you're living through the breakup. Um, I, you, you really don't know what the real tea is. So, listen, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to address the elephant in the room. A lot of you are like, Jeffrey, we are so shocked that you mentioned Kat Von D. And I'm like, girl, before my brand was huge, before I was even on YouTube, I was friends with this person for such a long time, literally a third of my life. So, I've kept very quiet, actually, over the last few years. I'm very silent. I've said a few comments here and there on instagram um but overall i've been very just like like girl it's all good i've, I've been over that situation but when someone in your past comes back and like acknowledges you and tries to say something it's like girl do you need free press do you need free publicity like girl, i thought you were doing all right but i i i guess not so when someone that made up so many like vicious lies about me mentioned to me i was kind of like, like but that wasn't even the whole point of the video the whole point of the video was to touch on so many different subjects um talk about the hoodie beauty situation you know i talk about in the video how hoodie beauty literally stole an entire idea and concept from a smaller brand and most people just wanted to keep their mouth shut about it or they didn't know about it um and it's okay to speak up on things. I have gotten in trouble in the past and definitely learned um, that I've chimed in on a lot of stuff that maybe I shouldn't have or it wasn't my place, but these things are really important in this beauty community, and if a lot of people don't want to speak out, it's all good, honey. You're afraid. You're afraid of being off that PR list. I don't know what these other people are afraid of. They're afraid of a brand deal, maybe. I don't know. I don't have those fears, and I just want you guys to know that I will always 
100% be honest with everything I do, whether it's a conversation about someone, whether it's a review, you are always going to get the facts, and that's all, that's all I know how to be, um, and I know that there are a lot of shitty people out there, there's a lot of liars, and this community is crazy, but, um, the truth, so just real quick, I know a lot of people have been waiting and waiting for me to talk about Kat for a long time. And I really had nothing to say. Um, I was just shocked one day to wake up and have a friend that I loved and cared about backstab me so hard. And people pick sides. I get it. Um, it doesn't matter. It's my life at the end of the day. And it was something that I had to go through that was really horrible. So um, I guess the big thing of the video of today is the fact that regardless of Kat Von mentioning me the other day on her channel saying jeffrey who um she was very adamant about pulling my lipstick two years ago and here we are two and a half years ago and the jeffrey lipstick with my spelling which is trademarked but i let her have my you know use my name a long time ago so i'm not mad about that um but it's just funny that it's still for sale on her website right now i'm like I mean, give it like 10 hours, they're going to probably remove that shit tomorrow morning. They're probably panicking right now, thinking that they wouldn't ever be like caught. But like, girl, you're still selling. So imagine, okay, just, just imagine for one second that you are me and someone that hated me so adamantly and made up so many false lies is still making a profit off of my name. That's why I got a little upset. Um, I was kind of shocked. I'm like, really? Still? Like, I don't understand, can't relate. So that's why I mentioned her in the video. I haven't mentioned her in a long time and probably won't do it again. But um, all sarcasm aside, I was a little shocked. So I don't know what will happen. Hopefully it gets taken down because it's really bizarre to me. Um, but I just feel bad for her, like, girl. So, of course, there's a lot more stuff in today's video, but um, I just wanted to touch on that and talk to you guys privately one-on-one. -on -one. Some people that watch the video may not ever watch the snap, and that's okay. I just want you guys to know, my subscribers and my customers, that's the real tea, and that's what happened today. So, if you have time, go check it out. Um, and besides that, girl, I am exhausted from today's filming, so I am going to go take a little nap, which feels so weird to nap in the day. Bitch, 